Hi, and welcome to chapter four of My Voice, My Mission. So as I told you in the last episode, a couple of days ago, I went to my first classical singing lesson in over 22 years. I actually went back to the same teacher that I had back then. She's retired now, but she's still having a couple of students in her own home. And it was so much fun and a great experience to be back. I actually recorded the whole lesson, but unfortunately the memory in my phone ran out. So I really wanted to show you a bit that I think sounded really good at the end of the class, but it didn't get recorded. But here's a bit of what it sounded like in the middle of the lesson. it's quite a big difference just the acoustic of the room that I had the lesson in compared to where I am right now. This is my singing studio and the ceiling here we have stuff in the ceiling and everywhere to make it not sound so much which makes it quite hard to sing in here but that is good when you practice. So what did I do at my lesson? What did my teacher tell me? What is the problem now? Well first of all we talked a lot about support because when you sing pop and rock it's easier to have a bit of a higher breathing to get the larynx up and to get that support that you need to sing quite hard. When you sing classical you gotta get down more. So she actually thought that I was being a bit too young and a bit too soft when I sang. So we worked a lot on that. You can hear in the recording that Sometimes it was a bit too big, maybe the, the vibrato got a bit out of hand and well, I didn't think it sounded as pretty as I would have liked it to have sounded, but it sounded much more free. It was so much easier to hit those high notes. I got the legato that I was talking about a couple of episodes ago and um, after I got home, from that class I sang for hours and I sang really really well and of course I wanted to record that too but um, well the memory on the phone blah 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 so I just recorded a really small piece just to see where my voice were at and um, I think the most amazing thing when I've been training so much classical is that my voice got much lighter and much faster. Now you only heard, the most recordings that I've shown you have been from stage or really heavy singing. This is more of an easygoing song, but I'm quite pleased with the, that I can sing a bit faster and a bit lighter. So um, this is what it sounded like when I got home and sang. When they push, when they pull, tell me can you hold on? When they say you should change, can you lift your hand high and stay strong? Will you give up giving when your heart's crying out that it's wrong? Will you love you for you at the end of it all? In life, it's gonna be chance when you feel enough and in your mind. Insecurities, is to take control. We start to look outside ourselves. For acceptance and approval, we keep forgetting that the one thing we should know is don't be scared, fly alone, find a path that is your own. Love will love every day, it's in your hands, the world is yours. Don't turn back, no base, no, all the answers they will unfold. What are you waiting for? Spread your wings and so. So that was a bit of pop singing. I'm really sad that I couldn't show you guys what I wanted to show you, but hopefully in the next episode. A friend of mine also came in and she borrowed me this thing. It's from a guy named Vakai and it's called Metodo Practico. It's 15 exercises for classical voice and this one is the soprano version. 
I have no idea if this is good. I just checked out the first exercise today and I'm going to see if I like it and if I like the other ones. But here's my first try of seeing the first exercise of Vakai Metodo Practico. Manca solecita più dello sato. So if you're interested in getting singing lessons just like me, what should you think about when you try to find a good teacher? For me, and I'm a bit controversial on this, I know, but I do believe that if you're going to learn something new that you don't know from before, I really think you can benefit from a teacher that first of all is able to do what you want to do. And also it's easier and it will go faster I think if the teacher has a bit of the same quality in their voice as you do. If you're a woman, a soprano, it's easier to listen to another woman and another soprano. If you are a student or maybe a professional that just wants to see if your voice is in shape and you just want to keep your singing up, then I think you could go to anyone who's a good teacher, who you have good chemistry with or that knows what they're talking about. But if you want to learn something new, you, you are never supposed to copy your teacher or anyone else for that matter, but it's so much easier to hear the technique if the voice is kind of the same. I also think that it's very good to get a couple of recommendations. Maybe if you have a friend or someone you know that sings really well and that you know that they have been taking classes, Ask them where they have been going. Don't get too focused on where they had their training, what kind of technique they use. If they sing well, if they know what they're talking about, if you heard that they can get other people to sing well, then they are good teachers and that's all that matters. If you are a professional singer, I also think you could benefit quite a lot from having another professional singer as a teacher. There's a lot of vocal teachers out there who are, well, primarily teachers and maybe almost never have been singing in front of an audience. And there's a couple of things that you should think about when you work with professional singers, because there is so much to think about when you're on stage and singing. If you are just beginning to sing, well, find just find a good one. It's not the same thing. But if you are professional or if you really want to learn something new and you are willing to work hard at it, put as much work to find a good teacher and don't be cheap. Please don't be cheap. Pay more, but don't go that often instead of going too often for someone who's cheaper. I think that goes for everything, actually. I would love to see if some of you have been inspired. Are you doing your own journeys right now? Would you like to make your own journey? Please record it. Send it to me. Send a link. Send it uh, in the comments below my, uh, my YouTube videos or on my Facebook or wherever if you know who I am. But for now, that is all. And the next time we're going to talk a bit more about how I'm practicing these days and to see if we do get any progress. Till then, thank you for watching.